Thanks for tuning in, everybody. My name is Brock Page, and I don't know anything about sports handicapping. I'm also still doing random sports picks for fun, and you might be surprised as to who I'm picking in Major League Baseball today. That's right, we're doing baseball now. If you just can't wait, you want to save yourself some time, check out my picks for this video in the description section below. Once again, I have to remind you that I am not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. A wise man once said, good ain't free and free ain't good. If for some reason you decide to use the free information on this program, you're utilizing it at your own discretion. And with that said, let's get into some MLB picks for April 13th. First game I have for you, first game ever for me in baseball, Tampa Bay at the New York Yankees. The betting opened up with the Yanks laying 130 on the money line and the total at eight and a half runs. Since then, New York's now laying 139 on the money line with the total remaining at eight and a half. As always, the favorites are laying one and a half on the run line. And at the moment, 67% of the betters think the Yankees will get the job done. Today's projected starters, Andres for Tampa Bay, Severino for the Yankees. Speaking of New York, they've been hot as of late, winning their last three after a slow start. They've been smacking the ball around the last few days, decimating Tampa Bay 8-1 in the first game of the series and 8-4 last night. In addition to all of that, both teams' last three games have gone over the total. All that said, I'm ready to make my pick, and I am in full agreement with the betters. I think New York wins this one at home for some money line cash. Now, when it comes to the total, I think this one goes over 8.5, and when it comes to the run line, I think the Yankees win by at least two. Next game I have for you, it is going to be Pittsburgh at Boston. First game of an interleague series. The betting opened up with the Red Sox laying 140 on the money line and the total at nine and a half runs. Since then, Boston's now laying 162 on the money line with the total remaining at nine and a half. As always, the favorites are laying one and a half on the run line. And at the moment, 74% of the betters think Boston will get the job done. Today's projected starters, Kuehl for Pittsburgh, Rodriguez for the Sox. Speaking of Boston, they recently split a two-gamer with Baltimore and notoriously found themselves on the short end of a Rodriguez start. They're going up against a Pirate team who got swept by Cincinnati, scoring just five runs in those three games. Having said that, I think the Pirates have a slight advantage when it comes to the projected starting pitching. On a side note, three out of Boston's last four games have gone over the line. All that said, I'm ready to make my pick, and I'm once again in full agreement with the betters. I think Boston wins this one at home for some money line cash. When it comes to the total, I think this one goes over nine and a half, and when it comes to the run line, I actually think Pittsburgh keeps it close and covers. Now on a side note, I don't recommend taking the favorite to win, the underdog to cover, all combined with the over. It's a, uh, it's a really bad play. All right, moving on. New York Mets at Miami. The betting opened up with the Marlins as the favorites laying 130 on the money line and the total at eight and a half. Since then, Miami is now laying 136 on the money line, with the total moving downward to an even eight runs. As always, the favorites are laying one and a half on the run line, and at the moment, 54% of the betters think Miami is going to get the job done. Projected starters in this one, uh, Jesselman for the Mets, Chen for the Marlins. And speaking of Miami, they took two out of three against these very Mets up there in Flushing, New York, a week ago. They're facing a Mets team, though, who absolutely put it on the fills this week, sweeping them in a three-game series. New York's also won their last four straight, and Cespedes has absolutely dialed it in at the plate right now. I normally don't like to throw names out there, but uh, he is killing it right now. Now, on a side note, three out of both teams' last four games have gone over the total. All that said, I'm ready to make my pick, and I'm finally taking an underdog I think the New York Mets will once again get the job done in a close one for some money line cash. 
Now, when it comes to the total, I think this one goes over the eight runs. And when it comes to the run line, I think the Mets will at least keep it within two runs. All right, folks, I am going to slide into the next game, and it's going to be our final game for the show, my, uh, my inaugural baseball pick show, by the way. And, uh, wow, I'm just an absolute well-rounded sports enthusiast, let me tell you that. Uh, I know it all, or at least I think I do. Uh, we got the L.A. Dodgers at the Chicago Cubs. The betting opened up with the Cubbies as the favorites, laying 144 on the money line and the total at 7.5 runs. Since then, Chicago is laying 124 on the money line, with the total remaining at 7.5. As always, the favorites are laying 1.5, and, and at the moment, 64% of the bettors think the Cubbies will do it. Projected starters, Ryu for the Dodgers, Anderson for the Cubs. Speaking of Chicago, they've won three of their last four and look to take the rubber match this afternoon against the Dodgers. L.A. struggled as of late, dropping a series in Colorado and scoring just four runs in the last two games. On a side note, two out of both teams' last four games have gone over the line. All that said, I'm ready to make my pick as I'm once again in full agreement with the betters on this one. I think Chicago wins it at home for some money line cash. When it comes to the total, I think this one goes over 7.5. And when it comes to the run line, I think the Cubs cover the one and a half. Nothing better than baseball, afternoon baseball at Wrigley. That is what the game is all about. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me. Once again, I have to remind you that I am not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. That goes for football, baseball, basketball. Doesn't matter. I'll pick any game, and uh, I'm certainly not good at it. A wise man once said, good ain't free and free ain't good. If for some reason you decide to use the free information on this program, you're utilizing it at your own discretion. Most importantly, if you're betting any of these games, do it safe, do it responsibly, and most important, have fun. For Brock Page predictions and sports picks, I'm Brock Page, and have yourself a positive day.